Dan. Hi, Dan's Custom Hot Rods here. New video on said 1978 Monza Wagon Pro Street Tub Caged V8 chassis build that we're <clears throat> basically embarking on. We're going to build it here on YouTube. Uh, if you are still watching, um, the old video we're going to get rid of and uh, put this one in its place, obviously. We spent last weekend washing, cleaning, and getting this thing cleaned up. As you can see from the last video, no motor, no transmission. Bye-bye. Uh, we have four wheels and tires on it still. Uh, as you can see, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, four wheels and tires. Anyways, we are going to delete the rear end. It will not handle a V8. I know because I've broke one before with a V8 in front of it. Uh, we are, we, we have the motor, transmission, rear end, and soon enough, uh, ladder bar coil over for the back. The only thing I need to go get is steel for the tube chassis. We are going to probably build a mix of tube chassis, two by two, here in the motor area. Uh, something small enough to handle the V8, but this is going to be a street car. This is not race. So it's going to be mild steel, probably two by two, maybe even smaller square tubing to handle this for the V8 and when we get back underneath that firewall right there we're going to throw down probably two by three the rest of the way back so most of this is going to end up being two by three box all the way back a couple cross members and then you get to a very narrow nine inch and big tires Big wheels, big wheel tubs, new floor, all the goodies. We decided just this week we were going to put an eight-point roll bar in this car instead of a full 10-point cage, 12-point, whatever you want, blow up, bow by, instead of the large cage that we're going to put in the Corvette Pro Street. Just an eight-point uh, roll bar. In this, as you can hear, I'm not scripted. I am off the top of my head. I make mistakes, <laughs> unfortunately, too often. I don't have a script. I don't have a TV cameraman in here telling me what to say or deleting or whatever. This is me, Dan's Custom Hot Rods, doing this off the cuff, brain power. So anybody that sees these videos and wants to help sponsor so call donate whatever brakes we are going to probably throw in power disc brakes all four corners well this came originally with a four lug we are going to change this over to a five lug all the way around all four corners disc brakes all four corners so those disc brakes up here are going bye bye along with half of everything else underneath this car uh, the o2 s10 stuff fits this pretty darn good uh, there's a company on the internet uh, v8 monza say they uh, have some kind of cone adapters that go on there probably get a set of those um, and adapt a five lug on this car so that we can have five lug wheels because they just don't make four lug not today's world today's world we make YouTube videos with cell phones and <laughs> 
my day we didn't do that um, so yeah a little older a little wiser doing something new so if anybody decides they want to throw in some breaks feel free to give us a holler uh, leave us a message on YouTube uh, give my business a call and we'll be glad to take any donations sponsorship mention your business uh, we door here we have the weather stripping on this car is pretty shot as you can see there's gaps there's holes there's junk as you can see again here we go with bad weather stripping so uh, we're gonna replace all that no big deal it's a little dark in here but there's the floors perfect steel still have the original undercoating on them this was originally an air-conditioned car which is really rare we're gonna get rid of the shifter we have an aftermarket shifter for that thing we're gonna keep most of that dash that we can and be able to update possibly the door panels uh, if we can get a good set of door panels then we'll find a set no big deal windows stay we're not even going to take them out here we go again with if anybody wants to throw down some weather stripping 78 Monza wagon weather stripping this is all shot there's the floorboard back floorboard after we've gotten it cleaned up we're gonna stick a fuel cell battery box in this area we're gonna cut all this out the whole thing the hump right there all the way up middle of that car so we will do that we, we will cut all this out probably with plaz on YouTube we will cut this live on YouTube we will or at least make a video how's that of doing all this cutting all this crap out of here so that we can get some wheel tubs put in here so bear with us and we will do this on a video we'll actually start showing our work headliners in great shape we don't need to tear, tear into that at all again the back end 13 inch original pizza cutters on we're gonna get rid of those we're gonna do a five lug four nine inch rear disc brakes just gives you kind of an idea how clean and straight this car already is luggage rack huh they had those in 1978 um, gee Grandma wants to keep it too, and it's in really good shape. So we'll polish it up and we'll keep it on the car, period. Even after it's painted. Grandma's already decided, my wife has already decided what color she wants to paint this. So that's solved. Uh, she found a really neat blue, and that's fine. At any rate, Dan again. Hi, how are you? Uh, anybody that watches these videos, that's interested in helping throw down some parts pieces electric fuel pumps disc brakes aftermarket nine inch rear ends ladder bar coil overs um, I have 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. fuel line but I don't have fuel pumps fuel systems regulators things like that uh, that stuff I've used on other projects and somebody bought them uh, We do not have wheels and tires. We're going to use Mickey Thompson Radial Pro Sportsman, I believe I'm not even sure which ones they are but um, in today's world I have a set of Mock-up 15 inch 
Mickey Thompson tires and wheels that I've had for a very long time. I use these strictly to make measurements. And if we end up, these are a 10 inch wheel, most likely this car will get a 12 or 14 inch rear tire. I don't know yet. We haven't got that far. Uh, I'd like to put some 14s, but my guess is we will go with the 1512 wheel, but I don't know which one we're going to use. I don't know what, we haven't decided on a wheel and tire combination. They will be radials front and back, period. So, if anybody thinks they want to throw in, uh, help out with this Monza build. Radiators. Um, things like that. We have the drivetrain and a lot of other things. So, anytime you guys want, my number is 316-312-2449. Dan's Custom Hot Rods, Wichita, Kansas. We are going to build parts of this on these videos, install a roll bar on video, cut out the back floor on video, uh, things like that. Where we may not build a wheel tub or the wheel tubs on video, but so what? Um, we may install them to show you how they're done on this, but there's some things that I'm not gonna waste my time videotaping. I'm just gonna get in, I'm gonna get it done, and install them and say, here they are, here's how it works. Uh, here's what they look like. Um, unless people start making comments uh, on YouTube and drop me a note, then we're gonna keep on doing what we're doing with short 12, 15 minute videos on this Monza Pro Street build. Because I have yet to find anybody any videos of something being fabricated and built and installed on YouTube. They're just five minute videos of a burnout. Great, I like seeing burnouts too. But no one's fabricating these things. Um, no one's building a chassis under a car. Uh, I have not found a Monza wagon being built. I haven't even seen my Corvette being built on video. So we're going to do these and we're going to have some fun playing around with our cars and making some videos and have y'all enjoy these things. Um, I have nothing better to do right now uh, between my job, me and my wife building these, um, you know, it's fun. We love this stuff. It's just for love building cars. Today's world, we have something called YouTube. Um, hi, Dan. Dan's comes from Hot Rods, Wichita, Kansas. And we're going to be building these things on YouTube and posting the videos. If anybody's interested, please let me know on helping sponsor some brakes, wheels, tires, weather stripping. You want to donate some stuff to the project? Let us know, please do. We will definitely say hi to you as we get along in these things. And we're probably going to start posting at least once a week. I doubt more than that because, unfortunately, our jobs get in the way of this. And, by the way, it's end of getting to the end of November, so it's going to be cold. We're going to have a heater on in here. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to cut this off now. And leave us a message if you want to help. Otherwise... Please enjoy these videos as we get them posted and we will let you know more work goes on and get things done. Thank you very much. Dan's Custom Hot Rods, Wichita, Kansas, 316-312-2449. Bye.